All right, I'm really late on this review. I'm I'm crazy late on this review, and I owe some of you contractors have been waiting on it a big apology. You know, we got stupid busy, you know, way booked. You know, of course, you know, we had the whole COVID thing, you know, so it's nothing's really changed except I had somebody reach out to me in the comment section and said, I really wish you'd get back to your review because I'm waiting on buying a machine. So I'm glad you did. And I apologize for keeping you guys waiting. All right. So we added the SK 1550 to our stable and you know, it's not a full size skid loader and it's no longer a mini because it's a lot longer and it's believe it or not it's i think it's four inches wider but it's a very noticed four inches i can tell you that it is easily the best riding ditch witch in the stable it's it gives you a cadillac glide of a ride it definitely has more stability i'm glad we have it it was a nice addition it complemented us well now Let's talk about the 1050. All right, so what is an SK 1050? Well, Ditch Witch had an SK 850. So then they went ahead and put a weight kit on it. And they called it the SK 850 Plus. So essentially, that's all this is, is some new logo, you know, decals you know now it's an sk 1050 instead of an sk 850 plus so there's a little history for you if you're looking for a used machine look for an sk 850 plus because the sk 1050s have only been out for a couple years now couple really nice improvements though i gotta say i mean actually there's there's definitely a lot of you know subtle improvements that we notice because we use these machines all the time one of them is that the exhaust actually exhausts from the, the side. Now, if you notice in our videos, our SK850 Plus has the exhaust exhausting out the hood. And on these really, really, really hot days like we've been having, it sucks to have exhaust, you know, you're hot, you're... You're already dealing with, you know, all the added elements, and then you gotta, you know, suck on the tailpipe of an SK850 Plus. So that was a huge, huge, huge benefit. Um, obviously, the LED lights, fantastic. Why did it take so long? That's all I got to say there. I mean, love it. But again, a lot of, you know, little subtle changes. You know, just kind of a, a real fit and finished and a truly polished machine that we can't find any fault in so here's how i'm going to evaluate these two machines i really think that if you're a younger contractor kind of early in your career you know you're watching how much money you spend and you're being careful with each and every purchase because you can't screw it up if you put all your money into something and it turns out to backfire, well, what do you what do you got then? Now you're selling it, you're losing, you know, quite a bit of money on a new piece of equipment when you do a quick turnaround like that. Okay, so I will I'll word it this way. If I was new, a young contractor, somewhat new to the business and I had just enough money for one machine this is a no-brainer people this thing's four inches narrower and it's a heck of a lot sh a shorter in length i mean this machine here you'll be in a yard and you'll be pivoting on like plywood and where you're standing it won't hit the decorative fence on the sk850 now let's take a look at the length of track this sucker is long, and I can't tell you how many times we clocked a fence with this back plate that you stand on. Truly, truly, truly 
love the ride of this machine, especially as an older gentleman. I really love the ride of this machine. So if we're out in a real open lot, you know, we don't have fences and all kinds of different things that we have to work in between. Absolutely, I want to get on the 1550. I'm glad we have it. But we also have a lot of ditch witches in our stable. So if you're a young contractor trying to make a decision on which machine to buy, you want the 1050. Now let's go a little further in why you want the 1050. When you get up to the SK 1050, this machine for its width and its length has more lifting capability and more power with its turbo diesel than all the other ditch switches with the same frame, with the same foundation that they build the, uh, so many of their ditch switches on. If I could only afford two ditch switch machines for my company, this is a no brainer people, I'm telling you, the SK1050 with its turbo diesel, very, very short, it's not gonna get me in trouble, it's gonna fit everywhere like a Mini is supposed to. Now, if you're kind of along, you know, in your career and you, you're, you're like, you, you're like, you run your company like we, we do. We have extra equipment. We have, you know, a couple crews and it's nice that we could add the 1550. Absolutely. Now, where do we benefit from the 1550? Honestly, one area of what we do. When we take the plywood down, we don't have to peel it off in sheets, you know, and just, you know, the 1050 is strong, but when you go to lift plywood, it gets heavy in a hurry. And we can grab twice as much with the 1550, it seems. So when we unload plywood, and again, when we're pulling up the plywood, that's when the 1550 shines bright. And of course it just drives like a Cadillac with that added length and track. Now, I do want to tell the young contractors, if you're looking for which one is cheaper to own, I mean, and we're not just basing this on the purchase price. We're also going to factor in maintenance. The maintenance is very similar. And one of the wear items on these machines, and you really do go through them quite quick when you run them, you know, like we do, is the tracks. And if you price out these bigger tracks, they're gonna cost you more money, without a doubt. Now, one, one thing that I'm gonna encourage everybody to do, you see this? Why is this important? You know, because I know a lot of guys are gonna say, why is this important? You know, this big deal. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't want stones falling in here because the idea of different size stones working their way underneath your machine and now the oil pan is vibrating on top of a stone and you could end up with a leak, believe it or not. You could end up with some sort of heavy repair because these do not have a removable belly pan. The engineers claim that they just can't be built with a removable belly pan. And you know, everybody's Toro, you know, veneer, boxer, it doesn't matter. None of their belly pans are removable. So maybe there's some something to this. But I will tell you this, anything to avoid having an engine pulled because it is not cheap. It's going to be over $2,000 to pull the motor and replace a pan. I mean, it's like $2,500. I mean, easy. No, no sweat. Also, also, this here, they're kind of pricey, but they kind of got you and they know it because there's not multiple you know, aftermarket companies making this hood guard. It's way too expensive for what it is. Having said that, I have no regret for buying it. You know, there's some paint knocked off this. I know we're saving the hood, the machine. You know, every winter we go through our stuff. By the time you, you know, you take the dents out and you paint it and you buy more decals and you know, your time's worth something. So that thing was bruising. It was way more money than I think it should have been, but it is what it is. All right, so that's my take on it. If you if you have if you have a couple of lighter duty ditch switches in your stable, and you're like, hey, I already got like a SK 752, and 
an SK850 Plus, then the SK1550 would be a very nice complement to, to your stable. You know, having said that, I'm telling you, you can't just send this machine out to just any old job in urban or suburban, you know, type atmosphere because you could send your crew out and you might get a phone call saying this thing don't fit it's the length is really noticed the length is cr very noticed and the width again it's only four inches but man we were already pushing it with the sk 1050 we're already pushing it to the limit so if i okay how's this so we're gonna buy another ditch witch next year because that's what we do you know we don't just use stuff until it's completely worn out because i make a living with this equipment so we take good care of it and we trade up and just like i had to buy used in the beginning guys coming up are happy to buy our well-maintained equipment for their first year or two but next year we'll be buying a new one without a doubt I already know what it's gonna be. What are you waiting for? Give your Ditch Witch rep a call and buy your SK1050 today. All right, everyone, until that next video.